what the hell is going on? Uh, <laughs> let me make sure. All right. Hey guys, what the hell is going on? That's a good question. How are you doing, Spoon? Or who? It's more an appropriate question. <laughs> yes, who indeed? <laughs> who indeed today? Hmm. Well, so this is a little impromptu stream. Yeah, on Sunday. We I know we wanted to go early so we don't, you know, I know De Dev was just going and I don't want to stream over Adam and Sech, obviously. But uh, Spoon and I were talking yesterday. We uh, on Wednesday we talked about uh, the Durham probe a little bit. Um, but it turns out that. Uh, no, this guy is like an enigma, <laughs> John Durham, and it, we kind of felt, I don't, know, I don't know if it's a rabbit hole, but it's just weird, so we thought we'd talk a little bit about it, <laughs> it's, at least, I mean, you know, I've always, I'm always wearing my tinfoil hat, you know, I watched Alex Jones, he taught me how to do it, I watched, <laughs> he, sh he showed me how to properly apply my tinfoil hat, <laughs> so, first of all, properly apply your tinfoil hat, chat, <laughs> you're talking about John Durham. So, let's see. Let's pull this up. I have a this little... came from last night. We were just talking about it last night. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Well, yeah. I think I, I think it was somewhere on the poll board I was browsing, mm -hmm. and someone mentioned his name, and I think they were mentioning something in it like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And then I, it occurred <laughs> to me, is that the one? Is that the MSNBC? This is the little, little the video MSN I one? showed you. Yeah. So one of the things. That, yeah, that's the one that we noticed. Um, is there's no video of this guy anywhere anywhere like there's there's no video footage there is no audio logs no nothing there's there's no audio no no video at least that not that we've been able to find if you can find it send it on through but i i found a guy a, like an actor dressed who looked kind of like him pretending to be him which was weird yeah. which is it was just something like, like, by the way was it the thing <laughs> yeah. was, i sent it to you like, yesterday apparently Oh, was it? Yeah. Because he's been. Well, I looked at him like, that's not that guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, I sent it to you because Mitchell was like, oh, here's a video. And then as soon as it turned up, I'm like, that's not him. So. Yeah. I'm going to play this. Uh, we'll just do it. Because uh, I'm not going to. It's going to have copyrighted music, obviously. Um, but I'm just going to read off the, what. If you were to see this, right, you might think, oh, here's the here's video evidence of him. But it's just this Newsweek thing. You know, when they a lot of these places make these. The John Durham is a special counsel for the Department of Justice. Who is investigating the origins of the FBI Russia Trump Russia Trump probe? Durham served as an assistant U.S. attorney in Connecticut for 35 years, before President uh, Trump appointed him as U.S. attorney in 2018. As a federal prosecutor, Durham convicted the reputed head of the uh, crime family, uh, New England's most powerful mob family. I'm sorry, I couldn't read it that fast. Durham was also assigned to investigate the CIA's interrogation tactics after 9/11. In 2019, then Attorney General uh, William Barr assigned him to investigate the origins of the FBI's probe into alleged ties between Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and Russia, uh, which led to the Robert Mueller investigation that concluded in 2019 and found no evidence that Trump's campaign colluded with Russia. Just to reiterate, <laughs> before Barr resigned in 2020, he appointed Durham as special counsel. In February, President Joe Biden requested a mass resignation of Trump appointed U.S. attorneys to replace them with his own appointees. Nice job, you asshole. But allowed Durham to continue with the Russia collusion probe. I guess that didn't work out anyone who wanted. Durham's probe uh, bought uh, some indictments and charges, including attorney uh, Michael Sussman in September for allegedly lying to the FBI. In November, Durham brought an indictment alleging Igor Danchenko, the primary source for a 2016 dossier of the allegations against Trump, lied to the FBI about where and how he got his information. Danchenko, a Russian national living in the U.S., was arrested on charges for willfully and knowingly making false statements to investigators. Durham inquiry has spent close to $3.8 million since October 2020. His investigation is still ongoing. Uh, this, is in de this was published in December of last year, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, God, I hate that kind of shit. Where it's just like, all right, you're done with that, so let's just open the next article. No, I was still looking at that MSNBC. <laughs> it's not even just MSN. Anyway, so yeah, this was uh, December 12th, 28th, 2021. So this is before all this new news broke. Um, we just look at his Wikipedia page over here, right? I'm going to have to resize the thingy on the screen. 
Wait, um, we're gonna read it, so. I, and they, I don't know how much, like this guy's, again, served as US attorney in various positions in DC for 35 years. Are you noticing guys that it's all the same picture? It's always this picture, this exact picture. <laughs> It's this one, and there's three others, or three or four others. Uh, so it's weird if you look up his name on YouTube, that's like, or not on YouTube, on Google Images, like that's overwhelmingly like 95% of the here freaking it is. picture. Yeah, here's Google Image Search. We could do, you know what? I didn't try doing DuckDuckGo. Let's do, I didn't think to Duck do DuckDuckGo, same one. Is it? Let's try it. Let's just let's Same one. I'm sure it is. Uh, John Durham. Let's compare. So, okay. I have no trust in Wikipedia at fucking all. Hell no. No, I just had it up for just to be like, what does Wikipedia say, right? So here's um, DuckDuckGo's. Let's go to images. Again, the same, like, and then they'll, they'll do like this, where they've put him in front of a ba another a different background <laughs> uh, to make it look like, I kind of like, see, there's, here's the thing we fell for. This is not him. This is an actor. <laughs> And that's you the, fell for that. I didn't say shit. I just, I just looked at one. I just saw him. it. All I did was I saw it was a video. I was Google searching <laughs> and I saw, I was going through here and I came across that it and I saw old. that it was a video. So I clicked on it and it's not him, obviously. So it takes, but you know, I was looking at the thumbnail. Yes. I saw this was a video I posted a day ago. That's the same. This nation.com. Like it's, it's got it doesn't this, remotely like him. this, whatever. I don't know what this website is, this nation.com, but you got a picture of an actor here. <laughs> okay you, <laughs> that's not him do you guys are you guys starting to see why this is a little bit weird <laughs> um i'll be honest at this point in time i don't really believe that's actually him mm -mm. or that like, they i all i have to we have to go on is it's just evidence well suggestions that that's him and that's his name we don't have anything else to go yeah, on. Yeah, I got an article about it. Oh, also, uh, Rat King, we just we were talking about it before we started the stream up, but let me tell you what happened. So if if on Thursday, this past Thursday, you happen to wake up or, or whatever and see that we were streaming at like a really, this channel was streaming at a really fucking weird time of day. What apparently happened <laughs> is that I clicked end the stream on YouTube side but the way that this works is that you have the end stream on YouTube side and then you have the end stream on OBS's side and I forgot to click the latter. So it basically, I didn't know that this would happen, but I guess if OBS is just sitting there pinging YouTube for long enough, it will, uh, it'll just start, it created a new stream key and everything and just made a new fucking stream on this channel. I was really bizarre. So of course I woke up and I was just like, what? <laughs> I freaked out and spooned out. I think I freaked out more. I think you were just curious about what the hell was going on <laughs> but if you saw a stream uh randomly on thursday that's now gone it's because it was just literal dead air because there was nothing to be streamed <laughs> so i was asleep yeah. and no one was even in my house everyone else uh, by the time i woke up had gone to work so like uh it was uh yeah no <laughs> Uh, so there was there was nothing there. So sorry about that. But I I, I learned a new thing about OBS is that um, apparently it has power over YouTube, <laughs> or if it bothers YouTube for long enough, YouTube will give up. <laughs> but anyway, you'll see this. Uh, maybe here's a little bit of a different one, and it seems like a different angle. But there's never any. You can see the the weird thing is they're like, okay, so this for example, which is hosted on Law and Crime by the way, this looks like it's from a live news feed, right, with people who are with Fox News questioning him. Well, I found where this picture is from and it's just in the Fox video, the the still image, right? Again, there, you can see him in a couple places, but there's almost no photographic evidence. And as far as I can tell, no video. You see here, another Fox News um, screenshot, but it's that same picture. I found it weird that there's microphones and shit in front of him, but there's never any audio of him saying anything <laughs> i was not irritated I, people not, saying in the chat irritated. i was not irritated you sounds irritated. lying bunch of bastards <laughs> he sounds irritated i just now. said things <laughs> but anyway this is terrible just the... people are trying to antagonize me you bunch of bastards anyway my point was this is some <laughs> sussy wussy baka shit like i don't know it's just a, i know i'm not supposed to say that anymore because it really irritates bill <laughs> he hates that he hates that sussy baka shit <laughs> 
<laughs> but it is just kind of weird. <laughs> and really, I'm a... this Trump about this as well. About this guy? Yeah, because he said, like, you would think that there's... he'd be teaching somewhere. Oh, there's a, a Garen's been practicing law or something, yeah. but there's nothing. Yeah. And it's weird to me as well is that all the stuff that he's investigated. Yeah. He, he's got a really it's long just history his, of doing this. His name is just on the stuff, but we don't know anything about this guy. He's just a name and a face. And I, for all I know, that's not even him. I have no evidence that that's actually him. That that's his real name. That's even the same guy. We're apparently not the only people who have noticed this, though, is what I wanted one of the, like, this... First, let's talk a little bit, a refresher course on... No, what I find it interesting that no one... <laughs> what I find interesting is that no one on either side, left or right, has said anything about this. He's just... It's, it, he's just taking it face value as someone you can trust. Yeah, Deckwell, it's, it's, it feels real Tyler durden -y, right? <laughs> it feels real Tyler durden <laughs> <coughs> So Again, same I, photo. I actually have the CNN article up, yeah, and I and surprisingly, because it's not terrible, and you know sometimes oh, when when CNN are doing a, a decent job of not being unfathomably partisan and explaining what is going on right now and what the Durham probe is, okay. So let's let's read this special just to get us up to speed with what's going on. And again, if I can. If I can use a mainstream source uh, from, sorry. Wow, that was charming, sir. Thank you. You really, Bye. you really upped the quality of the stream. Thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> My uh, apologies. I know. Okay, special counsel. I have John, whiskey. That's the reason. Uh, John Durham, who has been <laughs> investigating the origins of the FBI's Trump Russia probe, ignited a firestorm in right-wing circles last weekend with a cryptic court filing. I don't think it was cryptic, but again, we're reading this from CNN's perspective, so... Everything is going to be fucking cryptic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> to them. Someone's investigating saying pro-Trump, quick, we must smear it immediately and yeah. just destroy all credibility, and by that we mean our own. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Return the dead airstream, good footage. Well, was, there's no footage. It was just the chat because there wasn't anything on screen. <laughs> the uh, new filing fleshed out the case against Michael Sussman, a lawyer for Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign, who was charged with lying to stop, uh, lying to a top FBI official during a meeting about then candidate Donald Trump's connections in Russia. In the filing, Durham suggested Sussman's allies exploited government databases to snoop on the Trump White House. This triggered a tsunami of coverage from pro-Trump outlets and outrage from Republican lawmakers and Trump himself, all of it ripe with distortions, false claims, and misinformation. Okay, all right, there's your, there you go. You gotta get it in there, CNN. Uh, yeah, you were spying on you're not just like that. Okay? And you're then not you're like, like that the way that they phrased that oh, in the beginning is just instantly poisoning the well. I know. This, this Russian probe, by the way, stuff, which has been debunked. Newsweek says it's been debunked. So, okay. Yeah, you can take that to the bank. So, but, like, you know, if you were doing this, if, if you'd been spying on Hillary Clinton's campaign and and trying, uh, with what has come out from the Durham probe, is that it was, it was a lot of spying. It wasn't even, it wasn't a little spying, which is what led to freaking Watergate. It was a lot of spying uh, and persistent, and it was from before he was president, unlike, um... You know, Nixon. Well, Nixon was before and after, was it? Or just before? No, I can't remember. For Watergate. Um, in a rebuttal filing, but it was just one, it was just one microphone in the case of Nixon, I believe. <clears throat> uh, doot, doot, doot. In a rebuttal filing Monday, Sussman's lawyers said Durham was wrong about critical facts. His lawyers say the data was properly uh, ob obtained and pr predated Trump's presidency. Okay. This is again, it's okay because we allowed ourselves to do it. So it's it's not spying, it's surveilling, or it's monitoring, correct? Right? It's not really spying. We gave our we asked ourselves for the right to do it, and then we gave ourselves the right to do it, so it's not spying. They also accused Durham of deliberately ginning up a false narrative for right wing media. Okay. You see what it said, um, I read a Federalist post about this because mm -hmm. I trust the Federalist way more than CNN. And they said that uh, the language is very important because the language used by the post was was infiltrated. And no, that's not what the original report says. The original report says exploited. Right. 
Because that's a difference. Because infiltrated means you went in there deliberately of your own choice to fuck mm -hmm. with something. Right. Whereas exploited was like, while you're there and I have access to this thing, I can potentially tap this line and Precisely. use whatever incriminating <laughs> evidence I can find. Or in this case, fabricate bollocks. Well, that, that, but just... that was the thing. They they were saying, well, yes. yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we just found a flaw. And so we exploited this flaw. We weren't spying. And it's like... Just admit that you spied. We know the government spies. And one thing that, that should, you know, that should scare left-leaning people... She's in other people, though. <laughs> yeah. One thing that, that left-leaning people who are reading, if, if they are reading about this stuff, uh, and trying to downplay it, or, or you know, whoever, um, left on center left-leaning people who, who are kind of trying to downplay this stuff, just... If if it's like well it it was just surveilling it was just it was just you know uh, it was just an exploit. If the government did this to Donald Trump, what do you think they do to you every day? Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, that that makes me feel uncomfortable. Now, of course they spy. I I didn't know that that was a, a new thing, but it, but again we have to. As usual, it's semantic games. Yeah. But we'll continue. But it's still really, really weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, they see Durham is cherry picking their emails to make it look like they fabricated an unfounded narrative about Trump and Russia. Yeah, but you did do that. You you did fabricate an unfounded narrative about Trump and Russia. You 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 did do that. <laughs> I love the way that these people now try and establish like, oh look, we are a credible news outlet after pushing this horseshit Russia thing for four fucking years. Like, Wait, good luck to you with that. Right. Right. Like, Durham. you have no credibility to say anything at this point. The majority of sane people, like, you're always going to have your partisan shitheads who you can tell them the moon is made of fucking cheese and the streets are paved with gold and they'll fucking believe that. Sure. <laughs> um, Durham previously accused Sussman of working with the cybersecurity researchers and data scientists to undermine Trump in 2016. They allegedly did this by digging up dirt about his ties to Russia and peddling it to the media and U.S. government agencies in hopes of triggering an investigation. Sussman, whose name is just too perfect, who was charged with lying to a top FBI official, has pleaded not guilty, and the case is slated to go to trial later this year. Uh, you think he's going to get in trouble wait, for wait. that? Huh? No. <laughs> I was caught laughing, but I'm totally innocent. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, just like your response made me laugh. <laughs> what the way I just said it? Like, but that's just what I read. No. I just like I, I've been found guilty, but I'm or I I told I lie, but I I'm not guilty. Like, what? But you, uh, I'm confused. This is the alcohol kicking in right now. I have the strongest whiskey I have right now, so I'm I, I'm kind of glazed, just even a little bit. So I'm gonna say some wild shit. Or Sorry say some that. dumb shit. Bill had a Bill came and asked me if I want if, if I wanted to eat anything for dinner because he was gonna go make some. Sorry. Food, yes, I like food because the whiskey. Uh, no, I'm not right. I'm not gonna eat while I'm streaming. I'm not Hassan. <laughs> well, you, no one can see you eat like a. Well, I don't know how he eats. He eats well, like it a actually be okay because at least you're here. Fucking demented hamster. <laughs> That I well I have been telling Spade about that, but that old Asan Piker getting mad at JX thing is so fucking dumb. Anyway, sorry, a, a total Bronx random Africans YouTuber. Africans in swamp German. <laughs> the fucking hell. Wait, South Africa is a swamp German? I mean, no, it apparently that, that's that, that's that's what we call the Dutch people. Well, yeah, because the know, Dutch, Dutches are thing. swamp German. The Dutch are, the, are swamp Germans. So then, <laughs> if the Dutch are I'm swamp Germans, more offended by the fact you call me fucking German, you bunch of bastards. No, that the Dutch are swamp Germans. So what are the South Africans if the Dutch are swamp Germans? Uh, the offspring of all the craziest people they send to South Africa, probably. <laughs> That's all right, where all the maniacs and the good farmers are. Uh, theorize, hey, hey, hey. theorize. If based on if if A then B then uh, if if Dutchoids are swamp Germans, then what are South Africans? <laughs> and find it a fun term to describe swamp. Well, we're not swamp Germans because the, the South Africa isn't exactly swampy. It's no, tropical. No, the Netherlands is swamp Germans in Germany. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if I... If you take me out of that territory put me somewhere else, I can't be called that because I'm in a different place altogether. That's what I'm saying. We need a new term for when you take swamp Germans and put them in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, you know what you call them then? Uh-huh. Colonizers. <laughs> Otherwise known as the the people that civilize the savages. Oh, great. Okay, disavow. 
Oh, every I time. This <laughs> have you seen that place? Before the white man came around? Ugh, Fuck I, you, I'm not going to apologize. I've read, I read the book. I've been reading that book and then I still have not picked back up because it was too depressing. Actually, yeah, I, I, yeah like you don't want to say it's that. true, but you're like, oh, fuck. It wasn't just that, though. To be fair, also, I had a, um, like, my glass of soda or whatever on the table and I put, like, my laptop, I, like, pushed it over and the laptop knocked over, it knocked over my glass and fell right on that book. And so I immediately, I now, I had to put it flat and dry it out, actually, for week two. I forgot to mention that part. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is the bad thing about having physical copies for books, is you can do dumb shit like that to it, whereas <laughs> I just have the PDF, and I have a massive 40 screen too. in front of me, so it's great. But I like to but I like to take physical notes. Oh no, it's probably the first part where yes, with all my highlighters are probably all ruined. <laughs> it didn't actually, not that much got on it, but it was, like, it was just a little bit of, like, Sprite, um, or whatever. I mean, you're like three months older than me, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how dare you. Next month's age. <laughs> Same age, asshole. All right, fact, sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> Distraction done. <laughs> Derm alleged these researchers uh, ex uh, examined domain name system data, often called DNS lookups. It's like looking for numbers in the phone book. <laughs> a log is created when a computer gets ready to connect with a server, but the lookup itself doesn't prove that any communication occurred. Derm claims that cyber researchers had access to this trove of DNS data through a federal government contract. Again, they gave themselves, the they paid themselves to have the right to do this. <laughs> Sussman's allies believe they found some potentially alarming links from Trump to Russia and have said it was within the purview of their government contract to look for security threats. Now, by the way, again, their argument is that by doing these DNS lookups, they could find that Trump was in communication with Moscow, right? Yes. <clears throat> One well, can data you say the phrase projection? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one data set linked the Trump organization to Alpha Bank, the largest private bank in Moscow. Although I believe Trump has an account there, which I don't know, might be why. Yeah, but that's not really saying much. But it's, like it's saying, the Trump oh, look, organization, it's, which is a global organization, has an account at a bank in Moscow and in the UK yeah. and all over the the world he's he's got a yeah, concept because the, the, there's no one hell clinton ever gets any foreign donations ever no 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 now the clinton no, foundation no, is definitely not happen. corrupt as holy fuck the clinton foundation would never take shady money yeah um, yeah and it isn't funny that after like the 2016 the amount of donations came to them like fucking tanked massively i'm sure that has nothing to do with anything <laughs> whatsoever no it's not sus at all <laughs> Can't tell I'm being slightly sarcastic, by the way. Yeah, no, just no, no not even a little bit. Uh, <laughs> separate DNS uh, lookup suggested that obscure Russian-made smartphones may have been used at Trump Tower, may have been used at Trump Tower and the White House. Uh, Durham's recent filings gave the impression that this data. Oh. You okay? I can't. It's that's my trigger. That's my trigger word. That's my trigger right there. That's unironically the thing that triggers me most in the entire fucking world. I, I that that's. That's it. There it is. You did it. Thanks, CNN. Now I'm so glad I did choose to read this article instead of another one. Thank you. Um, that these data Which... were from Trump's presidency, but that assertion is now hotly contested. What, this and, the, this and these data? Is data is a plural. So this, this datum was these data were. Okay? That That's my... I'm not a grammar Nazi. Except for the, except for right there, that that's the one that gets me. I it because it's because it yeah these yeah because they said dad instead of datum yes it, it unironically fucking trips me up. Anyway, what did Sussman do with the data? Durham previously revealed that Sussman met with a top FBI official in September of 2016 and passed along the information about the potential Trump Alpha connections. Again, I'm this was stretching even at the time. And they and they were they were they were spying on him by looking at, at what his computers were you know connecting to. <laughs> Triggered, yeah. Oh no! Now the chat and everyone knows what what triggers me. <laughs> it's grandma. No, just that one. Just that one. Sussman also met with CIA officials in February of 2017, and Durham's latest filing gave new insights into what was discussed. During that meeting with CIA officials, Sussman further claimed that these DNS lookups demonstrated that Trump and or his associates were using supposedly rare Russian-made wireless phones in the vicinity of the White House and other locations. Durham said in the filing. But Sussman's lawyers claim that isn't what he told the CIA, and Durham knows it. 
All right. I mean, I don't know. That's going to have to go to court then. They also highlighted the fact that the meeting occurred after Trump took office and therefore could not have been an attempt to undermine his campaign. Well, then you're spying on the president, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not sure what, what's, what's, okay, then you were spying on the president. Uh, yes, by the way, uh, player 5.56 soon does have a YouTube channel and let me post it for you if you want to check it out. Cause he does videos, you do like three videos a day sometimes. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I've I... been spending more time writing anything to be honest than, than making the videos. But, uh, Mainly because there's, there's a lot of stupid shit, and I spend more time reading than doing anything else, to be honest. That and reading set old up books. Your channel better, man. Like you don't have background art or anything, bro. Anyway. Oh fuck you. <laughs> I'll help you with that. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, if you wanna, thanks for that. Uh, um. Yeah. If you want to sub this spoon, there's his channel. Certain f words I want to say right now. You want to come. Spoon uh, releases a uh, video. Or at least it's far more videos than I do. Don't say gamer words. Um, anyway. <laughs> mm, mm, no, don't do, it, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm a virgin. <laughs> Can I quote lyrics from that song you sang yesterday? Which song? The Let the White Kids Say. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think you should say that right now. This is a, this is a serious political sussy wussy baka stream where we put on our tinfoil hat. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider Louis is far more politically astute than I am, and he can say that word like it's going out of fucking fashion. Well, yeah, but I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will bully you with this. This is your excuses. <laughs> this is all bullshit. I, I disavow. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, Sussman's lawyers claim that he didn't. Uh, yeah, claim that it isn't what he told. Right. That's it. That's gonna have to go to court. The special counsel is well aware that the data provided to the CIA pertained only to the period of time before Mr. Trump took office when Barack Obama was president. They wrote in their court filing, accusing Durham of intentionally crafting a misleading narrative. Wait a minute, what? We the meeting, again? right, wait, 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 wait. The meeting occurred before Trump took office, therefore it couldn't have been an attempt to undermine his campaign. That's a, Sussman, that's a contradictory statement. His campaign that he was running before he took office? And the spying you were doing couldn't have been used to undermine his campaign? Do you see now what I'm confused by? Like, it and then yeah. it only pertained to the period of time before he Trump he took office. So they're saying they weren't spying on him when he was president. Sorry, I misunderstood this. And they're mad that they they think that Durham is saying it happened while he was in office. But Durham has evidence of that. Allegedly. Yeah, it's it's funny that you mentioned that one because there's an article from the Federalist that only came out today, and it said. Oh. Um, Five media lies about the latest special counsel revelations. And one of them is that one. Is that, that it... Trump wasn't even president. Yeah. I can read but it here when Sussman's you're done. lawyer. Well, go ahead and see if you can pull that up. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. Because I'm sorry. Now I'm stuck on this. Because this yeah. this is a huge contradiction. Yeah. That's that's the Federalist one. If we look at number four, it says over here. It says, next narrative it? launched to minimize the significance of the revelations containing Durham's motion focus on the data Sussman presented to the CIA purporting to show that Russian-made smartphones, that's the one you mentioned last time, right. called Yodaphones, had been connected to yeah, networks at Trump Tower and the White House, among other places. The data relating to the White House which, came um, from Barack Obama's presidency. Was this under number four, but Trump wasn't yeah. even president yet? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, uh, came from Barack Obama's presidency, the Times reported, quoting two lawyers representing one of the researchers who aided Joffe. I'm, I'm probably butchering that guy's name, so my apologies. I don't know. Rather to our knowledge, the lawyers claimed all of the data they used was non-private DNS data from before Trump even took office. This counter case, is nothing but... But in which case, if your whole point is to collect information on your opponent because you want to create a narrative that he was colluding with the Russians... Then that's, it has nothing to do with the presidency at all. Then that and that's what you did. Yeah. That he was colluding with the Russians. I guess they didn't have. Maybe they, they, they couldn't find anything. So that's why that it started after he was elected. It just seems like you were yeah. collecting all this information while he was in office with, or before he was in office, with the intent to smear his campaign as being Russian funded. You couldn't find anything besides this one. I guess the, the Yoda phone thing and the DNS connection to the Alpha Bank, which is, oh. I mean, not a lot. Okay. <clears throat> you know, yeah, but it says here yeah, this 
But then you just ran with what you had anyway. But, that sort of yeah, seems like it to this, me. This counter is nothing but loyally wordsmithing, however, and anyone who read the actual court filing, that dense document savage belief <coughs> beyond the grey matter of his readers, would know that fact. As the motion explained, in providing the DNS data to the CIA, Sussman told the government agents, these lookups demonstrated that Trump and or his associates were using supposedly rare Russian-made wireless phones in the vicinity of the White House and other locations. As a matter of pure logic, the data Sussman presented to the CIA related to the White House must have somehow related to Trump or would not demonstrate that Trump and or his associates were using the Russian cell phones in the vicinity of the White House. Most right. likely then, the data presented concerning the transition period. Further, there is nothing to say that after Trump took office, Joffrey stopped exploiting the data. So yes, this, thank you for this. This is perfect. That, that, that This segment perfectly explains the issue here. They are here in CNN. They're saying, oh, it's okay because he wasn't, and Sussman is saying it's okay House, basically because yeah. he wasn't president yet, even though you're spying on a political opponent. I guess they're just saying, oh, everybody does it, so that's fine. We were trying to, we were trying to dig up dirt on him, so that's fine. But then Sussman has also said that they found that part of his, and part of his evidence for this was the use of the Russian Yoda phones in the vicinity of the White House, which would imply that he collected that information after Trump was in the White House. Otherwise, There's why nothing would to say that using those phones has anything to do with Russian colluding whatsoever. They're no, just phones made in Russia. But, yeah. let, but let's just say, for the sake of argument, that there was, right? That would inherently, if, if it, these were data from before Trump was in office, and that's why it's not spying on the president, then why would anyone give a shit if there were these Yoda phones in the vicinity of the White House? I highly doubt Trump got these phones he would have been specifically president made then. from hinges for Russia. But the point yeah. is, if the, if it was before he was president, then they were Yoda phones that were in the vicinity when Obama was still there. Right? Yep. It would have spied on him as well, supposedly, if this Russian is the crux of your I argument. I mean, is that what you're going to say? That would have to be your... That would have to be your argument, is that, well, we were spying on the Obama administration, actually. I mean, go ahead and say that, I guess. Yeah. I like the fact that it says further, there is nothing to add that after Trump office, they didn't stop exploiting the data. Yeah, I probably would imagine that even when Trump took office, it's not like they, oh, look, Trump is now in office. Now we're going to dismantle all the exploitative um, apparatus. No, they kept that and, and still kept going about it. And so they could find fucking nothing. That tells you like Trump is ridiculously clean. Like, are you guys starting to, in the chat? I hope are you, are you guys starting to see like the this intentional framing of the narrative, right? They got, yeah, basically, they got, the they got caught. They got caught by John Durham. Yeah. And this this is some... Really? Weird shit. <laughs> Here we have saying it happened before it, it, he took... It happened before he took office, but at the same time, the evidence that... The, a large port of, portion of the evidence saying that he was colluding with the Russians was that they were using these phones in the White House. The two cannot be the same. They cannot both be, they cannot be, it, all right, that's, sorry, my brain is going to explode if I keep trying to make those two things crap. make sense, because they don't make sense together. They are inherently contradictory. What have Trump and his allies said? Um, are you ready for the most charitable CNN take? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure they will have a very charitable take and they will be very nonpartisan. Trump and his allies essentially have taken Durham's assertions at face value, and then some. They claimed falsely that the filings proved that Trump was the victim of a massive deep state conspiracy to spy on his campaign. Uh, let's look at CNN links to itself in, as proof of both of those assertions. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's not exactly um, not partisan. If you, in any way. Yeah, if you, if you want to say that that's true and you want and provide evidence of it, maybe you should link to other websites <laughs> where I, I know they're just it's just cross site promotion. Or, or at least have ones that are at least pre or at least credible in this regard. Sure. Incredible. Because people what I, I hate about the situation because mm -hmm. this is like the, the Adam and Sitch thing is that mm -hmm. th there seems to be people who think that it's so political that there's no way in hell you can discuss this without getting politics involved. Like the evidence is, is partisan automatically, depending on which side of the political aisle you're on. And if that's the case, there's no one hell you're going to find any evidence. Then there's no reality, and, and then we should just abandon objectivism yes. and empiricism altogether. Yes. Well, no, well, don't get Ayn Rand involved here. <laughs> oh, wait. No, different, sorry, different, 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 different type of objectivism. Objectivity is the word you're looking for. 
Okay, empiricism. How about that? There we go. Well, no, okay, yeah, that works too. No semantics. In which case, if, yeah, if if everything is so vastly deeply political, basically that no information cannot be political and thereby biased, then then just abandon science <laughs> and and yeah. empiricism altogether. That's not a bad idea, actually. The abandoning science, uh, because right now I don't disagree. think science is doing very well for the world. Disagree, world's. but Sargon apparently agrees with you. So. <laughs> no, 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 that's the scientific. That's that's scientism, not the scientific I method. Know. I know, I know. He got mis. Most methods. I know, and he got mis. He got mis. Uh, I think it, he didn't necessarily word it the best, but yeah, I agree with Sargon completely on getting. Oh, no, he did. He was just talking to two lemmings. No, what? He was talking to two lemmings. Sargon oh, made stop his point. Being they, rude. They, they... <laughs> No, but it's not being rude. Like, for God's sakes, the chat was just saying, how the fuck is no one understanding what Sargon is saying? This is, like, just deliberately trying to it was, fucking it's, muddy the water I understand here. why it was, it was misinterpreted, okay? Yes, you do, because you're not an idiot. <laughs> I'm not saying everyone who doesn't understand... Actually, no, that is what I'm saying. I am saying everyone who didn't understand Sargon's point is a moron. Because his point was really easy to understand. Sorry, well, go I, on. I don't think that was any of that was bad faith. I think it was just a misunderstanding. Anyway. Oh, come on. I do think it was a misunderstanding. For two hours? Yeah. No one sits that shit for two fucking hours and doesn't know. know what Saga is saying. That's I'm, bullshit. I think it was a misunderstanding. Let's. Yeah, sorry, nobody just, knows what the fuck uh... we're talking about now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, in lie filled press releases, Trump. <laughs> Speaking of charitable. <laughs> Trump falsely said that Durham revealed an indisputable evidence that my campaign and presidency were spied on. Former Pentagon official Cash Patel, a Trump loyalist, falsely claimed that Durham had proven the Clinton campaign directly funded and ordered its lawyers at Perkins Coy to orchestrate a criminal, a criminal enterprise to fabricate a connection between Trump and Russia. Did he say that? Thank you. You actually linked to his statement. Wow, we. They spied on my campaign. <laughs> I. I mean, he he said that the whole time, and it's it kind of seems like he was right. They were they were okay. They were collecting data. Is that better? They were using, they were exploiting this DNS connection system to gather data on Trump's campaign. And considering yeah. that part of the data that they gathered and released were about using Yoda phone, these Russian phones in the vicinity of the White House and Trump was not in the White House, well, that heavily implies that the spying, excuse me, the data collection and um, exploitation of this uh, vulnerability occurred either, you're either saying that they were reporting on information that happened during Obama's administration and try, somehow trying to tie the Russian phones to Obama, or you kept doing it once Trump was in the office. Just it, why do they want to just, just admit to spying on him? You hate him. Just admit to it and throw well, somebody under do the that. bus. Why not? And then just find some patsy and throw them under the bus. They love to do that kind of shit. No, because it reflects badly <laughs> on the entire DNC. Say, say Sussman's a rogue agent and he acted and, and um, the, the uh, do you think campaign. he was going to buy that at this point? <laughs> They're no too one paying, fucking No deep. one paying attention, but yeah. Okay. Uh, this goes over most people's heads anyway. Is that the, why this is not why people aren't interested in this? Because this is fascinating shit to me. I, I find this fascinating. Uh, well, I just find it really weird that the, all of this came from a guy that we have no. We'll get no one the, knows anything yeah. about. I, well, we've gone this long with me just trying to cover it. Although we accidentally found that other thing that's like what the f the thing about the phones. Yeah. Anyway, covering the. I would take a look at that actually. Yeah, covering the Durham filings, Fox Business host Maria. Um, Bartiromo, Bartiromo, uh, said the Clinton campaign paid to spy on Trump uh, before and during his time as president, even though Durham has never accused anyone of surveilling Trump's calls. <sighs> what? It's interesting how they say that, because that's not what, what I was told. Hang on, what did what, she specifically what I... say? Because CNN made two, well, it is. two different freaking statements right there. She said the Clinton campaign paid to spy on Trump before and after his during his time as president and then they say even though Durham never accused anyone of surveilling Trump's calls that's is that what Maria Bartiromo said cuz it's not what how you just def described her statement which you quoted here so now i had to fucking go listen to this it's only 3 minutes you want me um do you want me to send you, do you really want to send like a watch together link uh no we're good 
I'll just play it and see. What did, what did Maria Bart Bartiromo actually freaking say? Because you can't, because CNN... <laughs> All right, I Our bad faith, motherfuckers. Let me pull this out and put it into the other thingy. Because uh, I, have, I have a specific... Send me the link for me here. Yeah, hang on. I do find many people to be shady, disingenuous bunch of bastards. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and all right, let's play. Let's see what happened. What you would expect in third yeah. world countries, but in oh fact, here in America, we have had surveillance of a sitting president. Hillary Clinton and her campaign set up President Trump during his campaign and after he won the presidency in 2016 and 17. Special counsel John Durham's latest filing on the Russia collusion lie reveals the Clinton campaign paid a government contracted technology company to intercept and spy on President Trump before and during. Did she say anything about phones yet? Let's just keep it going. His over. time as no. president, mining data from Trump Tower in New York. Mining data. Central That's what West that would describe this DNS lookup. As well as the Oval Office. Congressman Mike Turner with me yesterday on Sunday. Well, the Oval Futures. Office would be a reference uh, to, to the talking about the Yoda phones. Absolutely, we have to get to the truth. I mean, this is a threat to our democracy itself. It doesn't matter really. Oh fuck you! He used the. He said the thing. Which political campaign this yeah. is, or which political party? I don't really is. care about this part, but um, I I didn't. Excuse me, um, CNN. Excuse me, CNN. Uh, I didn't hear her say anything about tapping his phones and t and surveilling his calls. So you you've lied, so, sort of, right? It's this this kind of way that these people lie, right? Because. <laughs> So what, what I know is... It implies is, that she said this thing she didn't say. But I mean, what they paid the guy yeah. to for, for a service. Yes. Now, what did they pay him for? You paid him to intercept the information because you were aware that he could exploit something. Yes. So it's just it's just wordy semantics. But you, Again, you paid the guy because yes. you knew he could potentially get information. It was This is all semantics. All semantics. Yes. So you paid them to spy on the fucking president. You bitch. Yeah, and Sussman's view, the right-wing feeding frenzy was no accident. His lawyer said in a rebuttal that, quote, the special counsel... Everything is worded. I know. That's why, that's why I wanted to read the CNN one, by the way. Because I knew it would be... And I, I said that it at least it's has... Real. Okay, hang on. It at least has the information in it, right? But then... <laughs> but they had to it's put their little spin on it. In, in... Yes, everything. Which honestly makes it more fun to read and respond to than... To read no, it just irritates facts. the shit out of me. I know it irritates the just shit like, out of me. Just like, ugh, just give me the information, you... But, yeah, that word. But it's funny when you get mad, though. <laughs> it's entertaining. <laughs> does everyone just think of me as some kind of dancing monkey to just poke and prod till I lose my shit and then yeah, yell on well, stream? it's really easy, to be fair. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> okay. I am not amused! <laughs> I'm amused. Of course uh, you are, you're easy to entertain. I am, though. Uh, sorry, if people get annoyed, I've seen it, I've seen some people say it in the chat before, it's like, god damn, why does a uh, Aiden giggle all the time? Uh, part of it's nervousness, because <laughs> I'm not good at running things live, and, and part of it is just like, Spoon could probably attest, I actually do just fucking laugh all the time at shit, <laughs> in regular speech. Yeah, and um, also she just tries to get a rise out of me. Oh yeah, definitely, because that's fun. Yeah. Uh, the special counsel seems Terrible to be succeeding people. in this effort to investigate unfair and prejudicial media coverage, citing articles from conservative <laughs> outlets like the New York Post and Breitbart. Oh, how unfair <laughs> and prejudicial. Now, CNN wouldn't know anything about that in this previous paragraph right up here. <laughs> he just fucked around. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Let's see. This is... Mm. My God, that's, that's fucking rich coming from CNN. Fuck <laughs> when, me. When, when they, lo they like, did a weird they did a fucky wucky literally the paragraph above <laughs> about what this we're not disingenuous and dishonest actors fuck you, you cnn you did a fucky wucky three sentences earlier <laughs> okay whatever um all right uh, with regards to the alleged contacts between the trump organization and alpha bank both companies denied that there was a back channel or that they colluded in the 2016 election the fbi investigated the underlying data and ripped out uh, ruled out any improper cyberlinks, according to the Justice Department Inspector General. That must have hurt this person. Who wrote this? I'm sure that hurt you to write, Marshall Cohen, didn't it? I'm sure that uh, was hard to have to actually type that out. Maybe that's why you just <laughs> needed a bunch of links. 
Incredibly, Trump suggested that people involved deserve to be executed for their alleged actions. Where is that link? Where is the link to that? Maybe he's... Here's the thing. He probably did say something, like, similar to that. But do you think... Spoon, do you think there's a reason that, uh, look, you know, look, he's got all these links all over to, to, for his, citing his sources. Why is there no link to that one? Um... Oh, could Gee, it be I don't know. Your, your, that's your interpretation of something Trump said? Could that be why? Mm. I don't know. You think that could be why? <laughs> Just could a be. guess. Yeah. <laughs> Just a guess. Like, like... You don't have to be a very critical media reader to see something like that be super overt, right? Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> In the live field press releases, uh, we already read that part, sorry. That's a different part. I got I got lost after I got pissed off about that thing. Where was it? Oh no, I lost it, please. Mm, where did he... What does it say? Execute. Sorry, that one like totally... There it is. Live field press releases. Did we read really this part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up back. I, I'm the one who screwed up. All right. Uh, with regards to the alleged contacts between Trump Organization and Alpha Bank, both companies denied. Uh, the FBI... We went through this, though. Oh, right. A bipartisan uh, Senate Intelligence Committee report said that in 2018 that it accepted the FBI's conclusions, but that the report also pointed out the Trump Organization and Alpha Bank gave contradictory explanations for the unusual activity. Maybe because they don't actually know? Be that. Uh, regarding the Russian pro phones, Durham and his team said identified no support for the claim that Trump associates used the devices near the White House. But Sussman and researchers called this a red herring. They said they found odd data at Trump Tower and separately at the Obama era White House. So they are seeing Obama era White House while looking for security threats after a Russian hack in 2015. So you're accusing Obama. Okay. If you're saying that the Russians are somehow involved and your evidence for this Sussman is that people in the Obama era White House are using Russian phones, then is it the DNC that's working with Russia or is it Trump? I'm gonna go with the DNC. I'm just saying that's the logical conclusion, right? You, you don't get, um... What was you have a Democrat president in the White House and you're like, oh, there's suspect Russian phones in the White House then wouldn't that be evidence that the Obama administration or that the DNC is working with Russia, not Trump? Didn't, um... Oh. Wasn't it oh, um, Biden's kid that got paid, like, $3 million from the former mayor of Moscow? Uh, I don't recall that amount. I know he's I could, getting I, huge I, payouts I from Burisma. Swear. No, I, I, I'm, like, 99% sure he got paid We're by lucky. the former mayor of Moscow. Hmm. Was a woman or the wife of the former mayor? Guarantee you. Well, let me see if I can find this. Huh. Well, uh, dead air, dead air. Let's do. Uh, okay. Well, that's going no. on. While you look for that, let's go back to the article. Do do do. Oh yeah, there you go. Huh? Yeah, Hunter Biden received three and a half million Y transfer from Elena Baterina, the richest woman in Russia and the widow oh, of right. Yuri. Yeah, the this. former mayor of Moscow. Yeah. I wonder why he got money from a former Moscow official. It is a mystery. Mm. Uh, okay. So I, I think you indicted yourself there accidentally, but that's fine. Uh, what comes next in this saga? Legal experts have questioned the strength of Durham's case against Sussman. For instance, uh, there is only one witness to the lie he allegedly told the FBI, and that witness has given a differing account of the situation. Okay, uh, all right. Well, again, take it to court. We'll see. Nothing will happen, of course. Before his trial, Sussman will try to convince a judge to throw out the case because there isn't enough evidence. His first arguments uh, on this front are due Friday. We'll have to follow this because I'm fascinated by this whole thing now. The five-star statute of limitations appears to have passed for Durham to charge Sussman with crimes related to the, his CIA meeting. Sussman maintains that he has no reason to doubt the information that he passed along to the CIA. Beyond that, the Durham inquiry is ongoing, but it's unclear if he has the goods to indict anyone else or allege a, a broader anti-Trump conspiracy. They're his political opponents. Of course they're anti- whatever. Ironically, many of the key players have seen a role reversal in this saga. There was rampant speculation in left-wing circles that special counsel Robert Mueller would bring down the Trump presidency and send him and his family to prison. 
but you can hear yeah, him because salivating all the at the thought. False. You can read it in his words. You can read him salivating just at the, at the mm. memory. <laughs> and now Trump and his allies are breathlessly hyping up. Breathlessly hyping up. We're just, I mean, maybe some people. I'm just freaking curious. Are hyping up the Durham probe and have welcomed each uh, development as proof of proof of bombshell indictments against top Democratic figures are right around the corner. No, I'm just curious because this shit's weird. And Trump called it. What you can't deny is that, yes, they were exploiting something to try and gather information on Trump. And it's really not clear if it was just during his campaign, in which case, why would you be doing that if not to try and find evidence with which to smear and destroy your political opponent? Or By the when way, he was in the White House, because the, the report contains information that would reply to both. Do you not like the way that that last sentence is used? And have welcomed each development as proof that bombshell indictments against top Democrat figures are right around the corner. Replace top Democratic figures with Trump Republicans, and you can you can describe the Russian fucking story to a T. You for did the exact same fucking thing for four, four damn years. years. And now when suddenly Trump is the one doing it because there's actual evidence coming out, they're like, oh, there's nothing to see here. This is just right wing base. Like, fuck off. No, Spoon. you're Spoon. doing the exact same fucking thing. Spoon, it took three people to write that article, by the way. Did it? Yeah, Caitlin Polance, Evan Perez, and Marshall Cohen have uh, okay, all. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. <laughs> it took three people to write this brilliant piece. No, okay, like it, it no, really shows. No, no, no. Okay, as much as I hate CNN and I want to bash them into the ground as much as you do, but that doesn't mean they wrote it. It just means they contributed. They could contribute I know, evidence I'm for all I fucking fucking know. around because it's just really dumb. Fox P2 this... says, real quick, says they're trying to say Trump used Russian spying on the Obama White House. They're trying to say Russia spied on Obama to help Trump win. Yeah. No. How did they get the, no. the Russian phones into the White House? I, oh, I guess, I guess it's I not a very... Know that... not, I, you know, I've heard that the American government, including its election process, is the most safe and secure uh, ever forever ever in, in the universe, but I guess not in, yeah. in 2016. Yeah, but 2020 was totally legit. Yeah, well, everything, yeah. Yeah. Safest, most secure election ever. It's, whole load of discrepancies of somehow five swing states that all had Trump's name on them, like over a million votes, suddenly disappear within the course of like three fucking days with just ballot harvesting. Uh, just totally, just totally normal. Just, you know, over a hundred million ballots not cast in the election dates. So again, know, it's totally normal. Never about. happened before ever, but that's totally normal. I like, know, yes. I, yeah, I disavow, no idea. What, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Things you can't talk about on YouTube. From NPR, special counsel Durham rejects claims that he's politicized high-profile prosecution. My God, are you just reading as much propaganda as you can find? I, <laughs> I know. I've, no. You get seen my NPR, point, MSNBC. Just read Daily Beast, why don't you? Dude, my point. Get the sell-on article. <laughs> Wait, well, I do. I do enjoy reading no, a good sell-on no, article. No, don't, don't, no. I do enjoy that reading a good sell-on article. That said, shit was that so fucking funny. stupid bitch literally just said that we can't understand this. Trump is big, bad, dumb, dumb. And if we can't understand it, and we think Trump is big, bad, dumb, dumb, there's no way now he could understand it either. That was literally the fucking point they made. Not a joke. To quote Biden. Yeah, that is actually what they said in the fucking article. I have one little meme about Biden that I literally found that, that Dev brought up during his stream. That I want to bring up right at the words we end this. Because really? I showed it to you, and it, we'll talk about it. I already sent it to you. It's the thing we talked about earlier. But I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. And I stole it from Dev anyway. <laughs> Um, th that story. Anyway, defense counsel. Okay, this is a short article. We're going to go through it too. This is this is Durham's response since the media has been freaking out since in the la over the last couple of days. Since we talked about it last, at least. <clears throat> this was February 18th, which would have been yeah, we streamed on Wednesday. So the pushback, which came in a court doc document like late Thursday, is the latest in a series of back and forth fines. Blah blah blah. Uh, defense counsel has presumed the government's bad faith and asserts that special counsel's office intentionally sought to politicize this case, inflame media coverage, and taint the jury pool, Durham's filing stated. That is simply not true. He's denying it. He, the, the Sussman is claiming, essentially, that he's, he's trying to inflame the media to taint the jury pool. Man, in a year following the Kyle Rittenhouse trial... I wouldn't know what that actually looks like, would you? What it actually looks like when the, when you try to inflame the media and taint the jury pool. 
I've been in like that. It's probably a bit tame. Most this this shit. Most people. It, it's too nerdy and political for most people to even care. <clears throat> uh, during the okay. Sussman, blah, blah, blah. I just want to get to Durham statements. Uh, <clears throat> Last Friday, Durham submitted a court filing about potential conflicts of interest in the Sussman case, but included other information about a meeting Sussman had in 2017 with the CIA to pass along information about suspicious internet data related to Trump and Russia. Durham said the information was mined from Trump Tower, the executive office of the president, and other locations to try and dig up derogatory material about Trump. That's his claim, that it's both. Again... And it seems that even the media can't figure it the fuck out. Because you can't talk about that Vodafone shit, which you went on about for forever. Whatever. We're, I've already I've, I've belabored it too many times. The special counsel has again made a filing in this case that unnecessarily includes prejudicial and false allegations that are relevant to his motion and not to the charged offense that are plainly intended to politicize this case and blame media coverage and take the jury pool, Sussman's attorneys wrote in their court filing. Like what? I don't get it. Can you point? Where's the evidence? What did he do that, that's intended to inflame the media? Which, which, by the way, is barely covering this. I wonder why. No oh, shit. Uh, D Derm appeared to... Uh, okay. Yeah, late Thursday, uh, after almost a full week after his initial filing, uh, set of a firestorm, Durham submitted another document to the court to defend his actions. He also said the information that Sussman's team wants to st struck from the record is pertinent and admissible material. But at the same time, Durham appeared to distance himself uh, from the way his initial filing was presented in the media. Because they, pre they didn't report on it correctly, probably. If third parties or members of the media have overstated, understated, or otherwise misinterpreted facts contained in the government's motion, that does not in any way undermine the valid reasons for the government's inclusion of this information, Durham wrote in the filing. See how it says overstated, understated, or otherwise misinterpreted? You know, this, this is the bit that's interesting to me because it looks like Durham communicates to a third party. Because hmm. it doesn't look like he communicates with anyone directly, which is why I'm iffy about his real name and if that even is him. Right. Or so if that, he goes under a pseudonym. That gets into why we actually start that's, talking that's about That's also this. why it's that's also why it's maybe easier to smear him because they know that he doesn't have direct contact. He goes through mediums. Right. So I found this article from the Daily Signal. John Durham, almost the media's invisible man. So we're there not we go. the only ones who notice this, right? Also, I want to point out in his Wikipedia article. <laughs> down in here. In 2011, Durham was included on the New Republic's list of Washington's most powerful, least famous people. So he keeps so he's known for keeping a low profile. It also says in the Wikipedia article that he is, according to CNN, Durham is press shy and is known for his tendency to avoid the media. I wonder why. A U.S. Uh, State's Attorney Deirdre Daly once described him as tireless, fair, and aggressive, while the United States Senator Chris Murphy characterized him as tough-nosed, apolitical, and serious. He's not the only one. A lot of people have described him as completely apolitical. He's just an autist for this stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, like like uh, um, Falcon said in the chat, like he doesn't want to get Clinton. Yeah, that was well, my theory as well. Is that if he's he's work, like if he's working apolitical, then he's 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 smart enough to know that don't get involved with politics. Like this is just a fact. Yeah. See now that that tells me something that if he is known even by Washington insiders as just a guy who is just straight by the book, and he is on Clinton's tail, then he's dangerous to them. Then he's a, then he's fucking dangerous. Yep. Then he's not someone to be trifled with. So, he does yeah. look like a, he, he does look like someone you would find like hardcore in a movie. Right. He's like a <laughs> lawyer you don't fuck I mean, with. This guy is, is like an actual. This is like, you know, an actually movie um, star kind of shit. Maybe I, I was going to say more. It's like wow, a principled person, and it's so rare to find a principled person in in politics that you and Lord. I both kind of freaked out <laughs> about it, and both went like, "What the fuck." Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that's why he hides from the media is because he knows yeah. there's going to be like an excessive amount of, of partisan smearing and he just like, no, this is, that's actually a sensible family. move on his part. Yeah, no, I mean, because that's what they yeah. always do, isn't it? They try to find ways to, to pull your strings and control you. Yeah, there's no way now, like Clinton has like 50 bodies by her name. <clears throat> no, it doesn't matter. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. In yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> uh, so... 
I actually didn't read this article yet, but I found it because I while well, we were like looking, I was like, what what is in this? But let's see. Okay. Special counsel John Durham, tasked with investigating the origins of the FBI probe into Donald Trump and Russia, reported a client for um, Hillary Clinton's law firm, Perkins Coie, was monitoring internet traffic at Trump Tower, Trump's uh, Central Park West apartment building, and the executive office of the president. They wanted information to sell a narrative of Trump-Russia collusion. ABS, C ABC, CBS, NBC coverage? None. Other networks and major newspapers balked. Then they tiptoed to deny it meant anything. Now we're seeing it a little bit changing, but still <coughs> well it's not true like okay so just just try and make that not partisan yeah just report the facts is that what actually has happened yes yeah that is true happened. see what well, uh, you see what i mean like you can you can say this is right-wing framing but if you just remove politics away from it if you just reported that as straight facts is that actually the truth yes yeah. right well the network spent more than 26 hundred plus minutes on the trump russia narrative they've done next to nothing on durham let's review just how much coverage durham has received from the big three networks since attorney general william barr put him on the case in the spring of 2019. abc gave durham's probe nine mentions over the last two years and nine months cbs had five nbc had six many of these were brief mentions on abc they came from republican panelists on the sunday show this week on cbs two, uh, came in two came in questions as trump hating fbi employee peter strock Daily Signal is also partisan, but Peter Strzok does hate Trump, so sold his oh, liberal yeah. hack. Just saying, this is also partisan, obviously, as I'm about to read it. He was the guy who said that we, we will make sure he's not going to elected. Right. Yes. <clears throat> sold his liberal hack book on two CBS morning shows. Has Durham contacted you? No. On NBC, there was uh, one... Uh, there was the waters in this side too. I know. I'm saying it's it's, oh, this, it's the Daily Signal. I pointed out it's the Daily Signal. It's it's a partisan. Yeah. I have to call it out though because I we have to be fair. So I'm just saying well, that I can see it on here as well. But yeah, I, it, yeah it's a little heavy. Uh, again, yeah. C CNN will do it with. It's a little not bit. wrong though. CNN but like will... Peter Stroke, like literally had the the text evidence of him saying like, no, we will we will make sure you're not collected. So it's like, yeah, it's it's not like spin. Like there's literal evidence of you saying this. So I can sort of forgive the liberal hack more because there is actual evidence of him saying this with his mm. own fucking hands. So mm, yeah. Yeah, CNN's level of spin is more like snooty. Like you have to actually read carefully what they say because they're they're kind of gaslighting you while you're reading it whereas with this yeah there's gonna be a and we know cnn is hardcore partisan whereas with the daily signal there's like yeah we're partisans and we'll just call we'll call them a liberal we'll still talk about it as a liberal hack but yeah. whatever um on nbc there was one question to bar and one and no and one mentioned in 2021 that in his uh, confirmation process uh attorney general merrick garland saw no reason to dismiss durham and again, he was one of the only people we saw that early on that Biden did not want to get rid of, which shows that if Biden's administration is capable of anything correct, and what appears to be true about this guy is true, which is that he's just uncorruptible or, or very difficult to corrupt because he, he just cares about the truth or whatever is the case as to why he's the way he is, then that would be why. Or it's, or, or it's going to look really, really bad to let him go. I, I guess so. so I or, don't know. Or, th this is more conspiratorial, is that the Bidens don't like the fucking Clintons. Oh, I wouldn't even be shocked. I wouldn't uh, even uh, be uh, a little uh, bit shocked. Yeah, I that is my you, biggest thing. I guarantee because you I know these hate fuckers. each other. Like, that's oh my command, god, like, these people know? can't... Like, Kamala Harris and uh, Biden's wife can't fucking stand each other. So oh, I don't I believe know, for I one know, second there's like, oh, there's principles involved. They're like, no, no, no. These, these people are like, if I can fucking get rid of you to advance my own career, fuck you. I will do it in a heartbeat. Absolutely. So, I, I do think you're right on that. Yeah. So I, I do definitely think there is, um, like, the, like Democrats are like in the media. They're like, oh, look, there's, there's unity in the Democratic Party. Is there fuck? No, there isn't. You guys will shank the shit out of each other when the lights are off. Like, get, no, fuck off. I don't buy that for a second. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's probably potentially correct. Um, yeah. Also, guys, if you've enjoyed our, our tinfoil stream, uh, just to uh, chill for a minute. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is it? I do. We do have a link to support down below. Um, it will go to Spoonside, and he will read uh, any chat you want to send us. Of course, we will respond to you regularly in the chat as well. Let me uh, take that link though and. Um, let me find it. Hang on. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> um, 
Uh, sorry, I spilled a gas and grabbed me a soda because I don't have anything to drive. I ran out of my soda. I didn't want to get up in the middle of it. I'm so lazy. Why do I want to break it? All right, hang on. Break the, break the flow of the stream. Although I've already done that now. Ha -ha. Okay. You good. You, what? You're good. I'm just, you know, just a little bit of a sped. If you'd like to support the stream, you can support us at that link. And spoon to pull up uh, if anyone does decide to be so kind. I'm not wings of a redemption in up in here or, or DSP. In, but <laughs> if you feel so inclined uh, to support my uh, aluminum foil hat fund, there you go. <laughs> it technically goes to Spoon's aluminum foil hat fund, but whatever. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I wear mine constantly. I have ever since the Koof came out. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's what protects your brain from the five G radio waves, right? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think since the Koof, I think since the Koof, I pretty much joking about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. Susan would be like, mm, "You said a conspiracy." It's like, yeah, but I think, I'm joking about it. <laughs> I think pretty much since the Koof came out, I I bolted it to my head. The the tin foil or the mask? yeah because I've I've uh, um fuck the mask I haven't fucking worn one in like two fucking years. I did, like, Which is quite based, honestly. Like the fourth time I was in a store, I just looked around. Everyone wear the same thing, and I just looked at when like, no, I'm no not doing this anymore. This is no ridiculous. one's walked up to you and asked you to put on a mask while you were in public. Um, okay, so the time someone did. I once, this was like really early on. This was like, I think a couple of weeks into it when it became. Uh -huh. When, when after the UK mandated it. Uh, yes. I, I walked into a, into a hardware shop to, to look for, for something. And I said to the guy, he, like before I even asked, he's like, do you have a mask? And I said, no. And he said, well, you have to wear one. And I said, no, 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 no. Do you have the following piece? He said, no. So I just left. I didn't fucking need to spend any time. Um, then in. In one shop, when I was at the till, I, I was at the shop like months. No one said shit. And this like really fat bitch just said to me like, you should wear a mask. I just scoffed and walked out. And I went, I'm not going to shop here until you drop this bullshit. And just fuck you. Just out of principle. And a couple of weeks ago, I was in a shop and a woman just said, where is your mask? Because I don't have one. And I just walked off. She wasn't working there. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, you don't work here. You don't have any control over me. Fuck you. Oh, just I don't have to do what the Karen. hell you say. It, yeah. Okay. Here's the difference, though. Here's the thing. I think I, because it has happened to me every time I've not had one, and it only happened to me once because it's only one time that we didn't wear our masks when we were out in public. Has um, we had only put the mask mandates back in like the like the day before, and we just didn't know about it even. But other than that, like. You know, I hadn't been bothered by it, really. People here were pretty chill. But I would say, <laughs> considering how many people report that, I do think it's because people were too afraid to approach you. <laughs> so, uh, not I'm just saying not everyone probably would get away with that. You know what I mean? I'm no threat to them. No, but you're a relatively young guy and <laughs> you're in shape. And I think, like, with, like, a, like a woman or like a, a obese person, they would absolutely go up to, and do that shit too, I think. Someone they think they can bully, you know? Yeah, women whereas, uh, women absolutely get bullied, I think. Yeah, whereas me, other women usually. Yeah, whereas I would just look at you and be like, no. <laughs> yes, I think, I think they might think you'd beat them up, so... <laughs> There's I wouldn't say I would do that. I'm not like, saying I'm not you a, would I'm, beat them up. I'm yeah. saying they, they might look at you and think you'd be able to beat them up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not the biggest guy, but I look I look, I look like I might it's tear not, a hole through you. My point is, it's not someone face. you look like you can easily bully. They do that stuff to people that they think they can fucking bully. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's whereas... Um... That they wouldn't be afraid <laughs> of, of fighting back. I'm, I'm not six foot seven. Um... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fairly timid, normal-looking guy, but if I speak, you, the f voice in my face doesn't match at all. And Annie can probably attest to that, because she's seen my face. And the one thing I get told a lot is like, oh, wow, you don't look like your voice. I get that a lot, actually. So, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't think that, but whatever. <laughs> oh, I don't I walk around with a top hat and a monocle. There you do. No, I don't. I have a hoodie on right now. I think oh, you shit. always have a fucking hoodie. <laughs> yes, I'm. Yeah, the tin foil is is attached to my head as much as the hoodie right. is to me. In, well, it's yeah, in the become hoodie. part of my uniform. I basically look like Garrett from Thief. Oh, my favorite. Yeah, I love Garrett. But yeah, a little bit. I don't know if it's a little, voice, a little, though. I, I don't know if it's a little bit. 
I doxed. <laughs> By the way. All right, let's get back to it. Can I potentially steal things under the cover of darkness? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, where, where are we at? I had to go. Sorry, I <laughs> wanted some seltzer. Okay. Uh. Okay. Right. Right. Peter, Peter Struck. Uh. Yes. On NBC, there was one uh, question to Bar. We talked about that. Yep. Durham is the anti-molar. Nothing he finds is considered newsworthy. The media treats him as tainted, like a news leper. Unclean. Unclean. Again, Daily Signal biased. Durham's team isn't loaded with liberal Democrats who leak juicy details to other liberal Democrats in objective media. The media used the Mueller probe to constantly paint a black cloud over Trump's presidency and present it in uh, present it real time as perpetually doomed, even when it wasn't. The walls were always closing in. Do you remember that shit? Because it was like every week. It's like, oh, we're right. We're almost there. We've almost freaking found it. We've almost found the damning evidence. <laughs> Every fucking week, man. Uh, that that part is that's a, a good way of saying a Daily Signal writer who wrote this. Tim Graham. That is well a good way of saying it. Uh, the media elite Durham's probe. Uh, Durham's probe is only to the media elite. Durham's probe is only useful to the right wing media wormhole. <laughs> Facts don't come first. Truth isn't uh, more important than ever. So just imagine we turned the Justice Department dockets around. Can you imagine what the news would sound like if we all took the enormous and incessant coverage of the DOJ prosecutions and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi investigations of the Jan 6 riot and awarded that to the Durham probe and turned the Jan 6 probes into an obscurity? The facts on media coverage and non-coverage demonstrate how our media elite today is a democratic machine. That's why most Americans don't trust the news. That is a fact. Like Clinton's shady lawyers, they are all about creating a partisan narrative, not reporting events without fear or favor as they unfold. Well, well said. Well said, Tim. I, I agree. So, <clears throat> again, a little weird. This guy appears to be something of an enigma. And I, I don't, what do you think they're going to do about this? A probe in general? Yeah, but all this, this coming out. I mean, it, clearly, like, at first it was just, like, just ignoring it. And now they're calling him a partisan, of course. They're calling him a, a, a you know, in, being paid off by Trump, which is, like, isn't that ironic? That being kind of paid shit. off by Trump, otherwise known as doing his job. Well, that's the sort of thing that, well, they're implying <laughs> that, that he, that he's a partisan and maybe not paid off in that way, but, but, you know, that he's. They're going to smear Trump. anyone who is against him as partisan. Like in their world, like, oh, we are squeaky clean and anyone who doesn't like us is just against our policy. Like, no, it's because you're corrupt as shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I, I mean, it's, the problem it's, is the a lot of their porters think that way. Huh? The, the whole party thinks that way. It's that they go, look, our world is completely uncorruptible. Like, get the fuck out of here. Which is so bizarre. I mean, anyone's corruptible. Yeah, you have to be complete psycho. You could be a complete psychopath to, to think that way. Or disingenuous as shit. Speaking I mean, of a complete psychopath. Uh, Biden recalls putting dead dog on Republican voters' doorstep as young politician. Oh, God, not this, <laughs> not this fucking story. <laughs> Did you just put the story up just to piss me off? I put, yes. <laughs> Uh, God, see this. This is what I have to deal with in a stream. Like this one is constantly just trying to like poke and prod and like <laughs> poke the spoon for a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. God, I hate the, I I hate the fuck you. I hate the story. This is just okay. This so story dumb. is wacky. Like I I did not know about this to this afternoon because Dev talked you about it. You put this up just to get this fucking reaction out of me. Yeah, obviously. I mean, clearly, uh... why else would I've done it? Like, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I'm gonna say game words if you keep doing this. Don't say a gamer word. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't, uh, don't, do it. don't do it. <laughs> but, all right, before we get to this, do you have any closing thoughts on John Durham? Th this I hope man, he's safe, by the, the way. enigma. I don't, I think you're right. I don't think that's really him. I don't know who yeah, the fuck I, he is. Yeah, I don't. I've never seen The more I, I read before. about the story, the back of my head's going, that's not that guy and that's not his name. <clears throat> I, I think he's. I think it's a pseudonym. Considering his, the how the, the, what he's investigating, he is, it makes yeah, me like what he's doing. yeah. I don't. Think this is like top level attempts at espionage on a sitting president with right. uh, arguably the most well connected family in the entire Washington apparatus. So yeah, I'm kind of mm, yeah, I'm I'm a bit skeptical. 
If I have to say the n-word, I make sure it's tactical. Huh. Anyway, Spoon. Does it mean I have to PewDiePie it? <laughs> uh, try, not to, try not to have a bridge incident, and I would like for you to read this article. Oh. <laughs> I, I, oh. got, I, I got it just for you. <laughs> I hate you, by the way. I, just for you. <laughs> I hate you with every inch of my body. <laughs> oh, it's not too long. It's not. <laughs> but, but, but then I get to rant about it afterwards. Yes, yes. Oh, for God's sakes. Biden recalls putting... Why does he always recall stuff that's, like, really fucking ages ago? He can't remember what happened but, five minutes ago, but it can happen, she, like, 5,000 months ago. Well, if you're not aware of that, that's how dementia usually works. Is that, yeah, uh, typically, damn. typically speaking, the things that go first are, are is recent uh, memory. Never and then, mind. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway. Go ahead. Get, um, um, I'm gonna smoke yeah. a cigarette and, and enjoy myself. And then laugh. And laugh. Yeah, go ahead. Have fun. <sighs> God fucking damn it. He looks old as shit in that photo as well, doesn't he? Biden recalls putting dead dog on Republican voters' doorstep as young politician, of course, would be a Republican. President tells the story of a woman who called the county government or county government to have a dog removed from her lawn. So Biden put it on her front doorstep. During a speech on Tuesday, Joe Biden jokingly reminisced about putting a dead dog, I don't know why that's funny, okay, on a Republican woman's doorstep during his time serving in the county government when he was in his 20s. While giving remarks in the National Association of Counties 2020 Legislative Conference in Washington, he presided, or the president, for God's sake, you can't even spell president or the president correctly, fucking guardian, spoke about his time in representing what he described as a mixed income district. Otherwise known as probably not the most well-off people. He said at one point yeah, he, means he this, fielded... He means this is a, a, a woman who probably doesn't have a lot of money. Uh, but yeah. yeah, there we go. He said at one point he fielded a request from a wealthy Republican woman who had a dead dog on her lawn. I got a call one night, the woman said to me, obviously not the same persuasion as I was politically, and called me and said, there is a dead dog on my lawn, said Biden, telling the story. And I said, yes, ma'am, I said... By the way, wait said, a minute, how does he know? How does he know, that, she, does he know? that she's a Republican? Probably the, the how, does he, how does he know any of this? How does he know she's a wealthy Republican woman? Because they're wealthy and therefore Republican. This is back okay. in the day, probably. <clears throat> when he was 20, so this was in like 1855. Right, right, right. I, they didn't, I don't know how they had phones in the 1850s, but okay, whatever. Uh, you know, Biden is very, very old. That's... I don't know how common phones were. Oh, he's I... 20, he's 70 now. This would have been 50 years ago. Yeah. Oh, this have been. Uh, no, every, people have phones. Nineteen eighties. <laughs> In the fifties or whatever. No, this was fifty years ago. Oh, see, so yeah, the eighties. So yeah, people have phones still. <laughs> yeah. People have cell 70s. phones. In the late seventies. Not in the late 70s, uh, but there were some phones in the late 80s. So like. I remember the the phones in eighties like the size of you know giant, fucking those brick. Those giant phones. Yeah. Man. Yeah, the kind you can beat people over the head with. You could pistol whip someone with a phone back in the day. <laughs> there's a great, oh, there's a great X Files episode. Um, whoa, it's one of uh, many, many great X Files episodes, and yeah. never get me talking. It is, um, it's, a, it's the Usual Suspects, I think, um, and that's in season six or seven. Where, uh, yeah, I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the name of the episode. Uh, where it, it's a flashback from when Mulder was new at the ex, F, the FBI, and he has this massive car phone. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's funny to me. You have to see it. It's not funny, just talk, reference it. Just, just Apparently it was it. obvious, because he said they're obviously not the same persuasion as me. Well, that just could be how Yeah, obviously. Because he's an ass. And he's always been an ass. That's why. He's always yeah. been a, a spiteful, vindictive uh, cunt, honestly. Shithead, And I'm yeah. allowed to say that word. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. There's a dead dog on my lawn, Biden said, telling the story. And I said, yes, ma'am. I said, have you called the county? She said, yes, they're not here. And I said... Well, I'll get them in the morning. The woman was not satisfied by Biden's answer, telling Biden that she wanted a dog off her lawn now and that she paid a salary. She does. <laughs> that she does. That, did, that's not you know. wrong. So Biden responded in kind. So I went over, said Biden at the conference crowd, laughed and applauded. I picked it up, she said, and I wanted it out of my front yard. So I put it on the doorstep. But I've gotten much better since then, Biden said after wrapping up the story. I've gotten much better since then? So is, by is, the is way, that admission he's an asshole? be aware of how spiteful this is. A woman said, hey, I can't, the government is not doing their job and getting this dead animal corpse out of my lawn when I asked them to come pick it up, 
which is their part of their job, I guess. I mean, I would imagine to call a county and say, like, there's, there's a dead animal. I'm, an, I'm guessing an older woman. I don't want to do it or can't do it. So can you send somebody out to come pick it up? And at this point, what is his, what was his position again in the government? Fuck this bitch was probably. But what position. I mean, what was his position at time at this time in the government? Is a local when he was in his twenties, what would he have? Okay, let's look this up. What was Biden doing in his twenties when this would have happened? He said he was serving in the county government. County government. So this yeah. is your job, by the way. And instead of doing his job properly, or or calling just calling somebody to do it. He is so spiteful that he does show up to her house and then just picks up and puts it on her doorstep. So he took time out of his supposedly, I'm sure, busy day. Is, let's, let's find exactly what he was doing. Which, by the way, just to reiterate uh, how long this man's been in politics, literally his entire life. He's never done anything else. Let's see. I don't think he's been in the private sector in his entire existence. Newcastle County Council, I think, is where this there we was. Go. Yep, that's what that's what that would have been at. He was new yeah. elected to the new uh, Newcastle County Council in 1970. So that's <laughs> how big is this? It's yeah. That what? I guess it's the the northern part of Delaware. But for, for the specific, uh, well, there's, there's 500,000 people in it, so it's it's pretty well populated. But still. 60% of the state's population. So it, it is the, the largest part of Delaware. But that's all. Right. <clears throat> still, you're county council. And you're such a petty, vindictive little bitch that you go do this shit. I've gotten much better since then. Really? think so this I, makes a good <clears throat> point by the way his chances are that it never happened and he stole the story from someone else oh almost certainly because he still he's done yeah. that before he's he still steer stories he, all the he's time from other known people. for yeah. bullshitting constantly yeah let's let me find, pull that up man yeah. i can even find it like there's like the biggest thing that he's known for is consistently lying like throughout his entire fucking career, he's known for being a plagiarist. Plagiarist. Bullshit. He's stolen speeches. Yes. He's stolen events. I mean, I don't like. Who has any idea of the things that have actually happened in Biden's life? Because all he does is just is plagiarize people. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Which goes to show you the votary are fucking retards to put that fucking man in office, if they even did. Allegedly. <clears throat> no, that's not fucking allegedly. That I can see that shit with my own fucking eyes. I know. I was awake the night of the fucking election. I, I was awake. I was, I was up all night too. And again, because, you know, here in the UK, uh, well, you know, across the pond, I should say it. Cause mm. <laughs> neither of us, I think, are actually in the UK. <laughs> uh, yeah, same time zone. <clears throat> same time zone. Uh, here in, mm. in GMT land, that was real, real. Uh, like, God, it was like. I mean, it was the next day at that point. Fully. Like, it was like 11 in the morning by the time they called it over here or something like that. Uh. Anyway. So there, I ran for the Senate because it was too damn hard being in the council, said Biden jokingly. Okay. Okay. Oh, you need to you need to look at this video quickly. Yeah. This is totally this is also Jernigi asks, bro, but why steal such an awful story? I don't know. That is the question. <laughs> You're gonna like plagiarize a, a really a story that makes you sound like such a dick. Why, why would you steal a story where you sound like a fucking asshole? What? <clears throat> What's this? Oh, let me pop this into the... Do, do, do. No, this is totally a joke, by the way. <laughs> what, are, what are you showing me here? Hang on. Let me... <laughs> Just look at the link and you'll see what I wrote. Oh, something I mean you wrote? The comments are turned off, obviously. No, it's in the fucking Discord. Oh, in Discord, okay. Yes. Oh, he does. He does look a bit like Durham, honestly. Here, I'll, I'll show you the, the chat real quick. Uh, dude. See, this is what I don't get. This fucking dark story. So let me get this straight. You found out where the woman lives. Mm -hmm. You went there, and instead of just picking the dog up, 
removing it and like ringing the doorbell and saying, look, I removed it. Oh, we're good now. And maybe it looked like the Good Samaritan. You put it on her fucking doorstep like a shit-headed asshole and just fucked off. Yeah, So apparently. you went out of your way deliberately to be a fucking asshole. You could have won a voter, you fucking politically, like, ignorant moron. I don't think he cares. But what the fuck? Obviously he doesn't care. I mean, but it's so I, stupid. Like, this, how, the, how politically, this is, like, the dumbest fucking move. Right. Okay, that's why I don't think this actually happened. Because... If this had happened, and when he was at the like the lowest level of politics, right? Why would it... I guess I mean I no guess it's a different it's a different world, right? In 1970 than it is or whenever than it is now, late 70s. <clears throat> in that, I mean now if this had happened, <laughs> everybody would would be talking about it on social media, and it, and he would be known as the that local guy who's now running for senate who put a dead dog on somebody's on a lady's doorstep for i mean why because she called you and asked you to do your job that's what yeah. it is that's that that's what apparently is is worth driving out there and doing that yourself i just I, all of it's unbelievable i don't believe it because I, I i absolutely do not i'm not i i 100 believe that biden thinks it's makes Jesus. him seem based which uh i don't know why but he thinks makes him seem cool and like a rebel or whatever uh, it doesn't it make you it makes you seem like a petty bitch. Look at the size of this fucking thing. What? What? Plague rat invasion threatens. That is a big rat. Here, that is a f things care. I'm threatened by the thing's fucking size. Jesus fucking Christ! Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up. That's the size of like a small fucking dog. Oh, Discord just wants to make me save it. Mm. Fucking uh, oh, it's on roids. Oh, Jesus well. Christ. <laughs> oh well. I don't know, Spoon sent me a picture of a giant rat. <laughs> uh, As one pandemic recedes from view, it is feared the next one may already be brewing in rats. Like, oh, that isn't like fucking fear porn at all. Why is Aiden alarmed that a politician was offended when someone told them to earn their paycheck? I'm not saying I'm alarmed. I'm just saying Joe Biden's an asshole and always has been. <laughs> He's a dickhead. I mean, he's always been a dick. It's the thing. Like, I've heard some people say oh, he's gotten more cranky in his older years. But he, he used to be real malicious. I posted it in one of my videos. I had a thing where he talks about... I, I didn't remember what the topic was, but he's... I think I sent it to you. Where he... It's something about criminal justice reform. And he's, like, real scary about it. Um, just clearly he's always been a piece of shit. Anyway... I think that's all we have for the day. Yeah, I don't really anything have much else, else to say that. Anything else you want to cover? All right. Uh, I do think nope. you got a chat, though. No, do I? Okay, let me see. Uh, wasn't for my fucking previous saving, I wouldn't have fucking even known. Um. Dead air. <laughs> Look at dead air. The fucking show. No, well, I sent you a, a notice about it a while ago on Discord, mm. but somebody didn't read it. <laughs> Don't bite me. <laughs> this stream uh, needs more snorts for that DSP experience. <laughs> I know it needs more snorts for the. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> That's because of you, by the way. I know. Thank you. I can't do it the way he like uh, breathes in like that. The, the snort. <laughs> can't do it <laughs> who's that supposed to be dark side phil he's he's king, he's a king grifter he goes on stream uh and plays video games uh and then just sits there and complains the entire time about people not donating money to his stream uh it's real cringe <laughs> but, oh, okay and, and I've, I've, met, I've i've made a point not to do that in my videos <laughs> just like as, as a matter of principle Oh, well, <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been told I should I should make it like a subscribe to our Patreon one of these days. I'm like, yeah, I probably should, but I keep putting it off under the auspices of, of well, just not giving a fuck really. Uh, I'll do it one time. Well, again, oh, I st I haven't checked yet because again we do have we do have a we do have a sponsor for this stream, but it, it won't be. I don't think we can go live with it until next week, until this Wednesday. Well, oh, oh, is it, oh, is this the one you're gonna make me fucking read? Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta read the copy for it. Yeah. God, I hate you. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm real looking forward to it. 
<laughs> I'm amazed actually stream so with happy. you. Like you, you, you go out of your way to like just piss to me torture off. Torture you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> What are Aww. friends for? That's because who needs enemies when I have this one? Yeah, that's because you're it's because you're my pal. So I gotta fuck with you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure it's it's a fine line with you. It sure is. Anywho, I yeah. think that's about it. We just wanted to do this. At least little... I don't call you a retard. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on, don't be rude. Okay. I'm not being rude. I didn't say that shit. I know. It was a joke. You just called it me a certain a joke. word. What? It was a joke. <laughs> All right. That's how we greet each other, by the way, with yeah. gamer words. <laughs> <laughs> Only, yeah, allegedly in Minecraft. Anyway, thank you all for showing up, and I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu stream. We will be here on Wednesday at around 8 p.m. We haven't like totally uh, worked out a, a solid time. It's usually around 8 p.m. GMT, which is um, I think 3 p.m. Uh, EST, and then that would be is it noon? What I didn't like look that up. See, the problem is here is I'm friends with a woman. <laughs> I probably have more female friends than male friends, to be honest. You do, actually. Yeah. Um, that's probably a bit sus, to be honest. Yeah. I have two, like, uh, you know who I speak to the most is, um, is, um, my pal from the den. Because mm -hmm. he says some wild shit. And also, he's, he's, he's Muslim, but he's Western. So, like, he mm -hmm. can say some wild shit. Oh, yeah, he's interesting. Um, he, he also does, like, a, he, the first time I met him on the survey, he was pretending to be, like, a freaking, like, five foot four Chinese guy who mm -hmm. speaks ghetto as fuck <laughs> and he used that to piss me the fuck off and it worked really really well and I just started swearing about Australians because you know South Africans don't really like Australians and he was laughing his fucking ass off at that <laughs> like if there's ever there's ever like any nationality you want to piss me off it's not the English it's not the Irish it's not even the Americans or the Canadians it's the fucking Aussies it's a problem <clears throat> it's like so many Australians are really cool but then oof that government though Dude, almost every Australian male I've ever met has been a complete twat. I don't know. I, I like, like almost myself, every I single one of them. I don't know why. Some of the, the girls are are fine, bizarrely, but the males are just spastics. <laughs> don't know why. It's just an observation. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, again, it should be around 8 p.m. GMT. That's 3 p.m. EST and noon um, Pacific time if you would like to come hang out. It might be 9 GMT. It will be around that period, between like 8 and 9. We need to like... No idea what that. we're discussing, by the way. Just the news of the week, mostly. That's what we usually do. <laughs> probably we look at the... Probably Trudeau, probably. Oh, the Trudeau stuff is insane. So yeah, maybe we'll we'll, we'll look at Trudy some more. Or why or why certain um, uh, certain people feel the need to mock God and then pass out? We didn't even get to that last week, did we? Yeah, it that's, got that's because it got worse. I have funny. new ones since then, though. Like, there's been new <laughs> ones since that I found. Yeah, there's been so. a fair few. It's kind of like. Ah, uh, oh, you don't be religious or anything, but I, like, I, I yeah, this is a bit weird. I almost want to bring the one up only because no, no, no. It's it's such the yesterday one. Uh, the one that considering this is kind of a schizo post stream. Should I do the the schizo post? Should we do it? Because it's it's a total schizo post. I suppose. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I want to go through this real quick. All right, here's just a little fucking thing. Let me find it. Where is it? Uh, was this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I got this up. Hang on. It. Uh, we'll 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 cover it again maybe on on Wednesday just because it's scary. Um. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse the website. Can I like open this in a new tab? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. So just want to show you this real quick. This is from an Italian, um, sports. Fox News affiliate that's covering football, I believe. Right, Spoon? I don't know. This is a Which? live this is a live broadcast. Football, right? Meaning soccer to Americans, I think. So this is this is a live recording. It's in Spanish, so I wouldn't know. It's Italian. Oh, is it? Oh sorry, my apologies. Yeah. Well it says Italiano at the bottom, that's the only reason I know. Uh and that guy just he just he starts shaking. He's clearly struggling, and he just passed out. I think maybe the weirdest part is that the other guy just stands there and looks at him like that, like he just just unfazed as his co-host collapses on stage. But here is the schizo post, right? 
Here's the schizo post part of it. On the screen. <laughs> okay. On the screen. Like if you freeze frame that shot, that guy's face is like, yeah, what do you expect? I guess so. It's it's pretty weird. <laughs> the schizo post though is it on the screen it says Corinthians three, because Corinthians are a Italian football team. Well here's the passage from the Bible of First Corinthians three. <laughs> I told you this was going to be a schizo post. I said it was going to be a schizo post. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person, for God's temple is sacred and you together are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise, for the wisdom of this world is foolish in God's sight. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is that a shot against the poof and putting <laughs> crap in your body that you shouldn't, but that's that's also describing leftism to a fucking T. <laughs> um, you can. You are very your... giddy by this because it's. I mean, I sh my response really to you was the shaky yeah. was the shaky Pepe nervous Pepe because it's like um that's a little spooky. It's just a little bit of a, a scary, scary reaction or a scary coincidence, right? Just a coincidence. <laughs> just the a, same thing with that woman who passed out doing the middle routine. Who we'll cover it again on Wednesday, but yeah, the yeah. The, the woman who said uh, Jesus loves me the yeah. most, and then she passes Vaccine, out. Vaccine boosted and flu shot. Clearly, <laughs> Jesus loves me, and then passes out. Boom. <laughs> May you can't write that. <laughs> I know, I know, you can't write it. It's like I don't just, mock God because he's gonna kind kick of, your ass. It just clearly. seems like the hand of God has come down and been like you <laughs> for you. Hand I... of God has struck the hour. By the way, bonus points for any of you who know where that's a lyric from. <laughs> I don't think Aiden knows. Do you know where that's from? No, I don't. God damn it! Someone in the chat at least give me hope in humanity. Where you know what that lyric is from? I'll give them a second. I don't know. Not damn it, Aiden, really. I don't know. I don't know these. I, I... This terrible person. How am I a terrible person for not knowing your quote? Because it's it's a based band. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't. We don't listen to the same music. We've been over this. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, say there we go. War picks. Thank oh, you. Oh, it is war Someone in the chat knows. There you go. Yes. I, I do know. <laughs> Someone thank knows you. it's fucking thank Sabbath. You, thank God. Thank you, chat. Chat has medalist says, fuck God, I'm storing my faith in humanity. Someone listen to fucking Aussie. All if right. you can't tell, I've been drinking a bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> no, mm. it's not. I actually can't tell that much. Really, I can't. Anyway. The hand of God has struck the hour. I'm just saying, my only point is that's a little... Both of these are just very interesting coincidences and in timing, right? The one woman saying, Jesus loves me the most, and then this... And just because they're talking about a, a sports team called the Corinthians, <laughs> and that they scored yeah. three and zero, oh, and that's Corinthians three. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Jesus loves me the most. No, I don't, bitch. <laughs> 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 I don't think so. I think not for your mockery of God. Maybe not. Anyway. <laughs> How does um? By the way, as as someone tried to meme that, by the way, with just like know. this hand of God is reaching outside from the screen, like a just an animated of just pushing her to the side and watching oh, her fall. Okay, we'll do the one really other one. really should Hang do on. that. We gotta do the last one then. The other one I showed you, the edit, where the other guy collapsed. <laughs> we'll, we'll can we'll, we'll, we'll we can do it again. Wait, there's another person collapsed. Remember, I sent you the meme. I'll I'll put it up. Hang on. Okay, so this was I don't remember where this was from. I have it somewhere. Uh, I think it's, I think it's here. Uh, where was this? Sorry, I'm just trying to recall where this is from, so I have the correct information on that. Uh, Ronnie James Dio's era of Black Sabbath was better. I'll see myself <laughs> out. You either see yourself out, you'll be thrown fucking out for that kind of comment. God. That's them. Them's fucking fighting worse to people. That that kind of phrase. I have no disrespect against Ronnie. Ronnie can sing his fucking asshole. But um Okay, I can't like, recall what? where this is How from. This okay, this this chat is not committing blasphemy. I'm I'm offended. Oh no, he's offended. What we ever It's do. not it's not seven Fuck you. <laughs> Smirching the good name of Sabbath here. 
Okay, all right, I found the thingy. I don't know where this is. I don't recall where this is from, but I'll find it if we talk about it again. I'm giving you a lot of shit today. <laughs> There's a lot of aggression. No, <laughs> yeah. Well, we obviously hate each other. It's and it's very serious. Uh, it's that the the yeah. meme, the edited one. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't remember where this is from. It's it's I don't remember what country this is. But this was a um political press conference talking about COVID, and one of the the people collapsed during it. Now this is a hilarious edit. <laughs> Let's watch it. Oh, Randy Orton, yeah. Yeah, and you knew. I knew you would know who that guy was. I need Jr. <laughs> this is so well edited. I need so Jr. Well in the background, oh just God, screaming so well RK out of nowhere. Have you not seen the video of this? Yeah, we watched it afterwards. Remember the original one? No, 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 no. Oh. Not this. No. no, just this. Someone has memed the shit out of this. Where this thing came <laughs> from? Because there's a crap load of them. Editing is like extremely good. It's so good. Also, what's his name's face? I can't see this game right now. Oh my god. That is art. I'm sorry, there's no music or sound for it, but it's so well edited. <laughs> Bruh. Well. Uh, you should see the guy who jumped from the second floor balcony with that one. God damn though, I and the, where he flips the tables, and there's Vince McMahon. <laughs> right, Vince McMahon. Yeah, I can remember his name for a second. No, I yeah. couldn't. But anyway, I think with that, it was only supposed to be a short stream, and also we want to get out of here because Adam and Sitch. I look, it's a pedigree. Adam and Sitch usually start in like two hours, right? So we're fine. But yeah, as you can't tell, I was a big fan of wrestling. Good, I was a kid, so I noticed all those people like, yeah, it's Vince McMahon, it's just Triple H, Pedigree, and Randy Orton. Undertaker throwing someone off the balcony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good times. I was not a fan of wrestling. Dead because, man. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you were a girl. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh wait, this stream might have might be that was funny. anyway. Uh, oh great. Yeah, I got uh, the stream probably failed anyway. Oh my god, it always happens. Great. It's just gonna buffer. 